Hello mirror users, Alex here, Mirror Guide, and today I'm gonna show you how we can make realistic looking V-Ray grass by using V-Ray Fur. And we're gonna use our V-Ray 5 new uh, materials library in order to add some materials. So it's going to be really cool advanced new V-Ray 5 tutorial. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up in order to make it look photorealistic. This is going per request for Gregorio that is working on his parent house. He's doing a really good job with lighting, but the grass was made with displacement. It's an old technique. And now I'm going to show you how you can use very in order to make your grass look much better. But before we start, we had a trivia last week. And I asked you if you guys know this uh, old book and congratulations to Baba James for answering this first. We had other answers, but Baba James was the first one. And uh, this book called V-Ray Complete, The Complete Guide by Francesco Legrenzi. It was published in 2008. As you can see here, guys, I hope you can see that in 2008. So congratulations, Baba. You're an old dinosaur as me, if you know this book from 2008. This cool V-Ray hat is hitting your way. Just send me your email, uh, send me your address to my email, alex at vrayschool.com, and I'll be more than glad to ship you this cool V-Ray hat with the V-Ray logo. All right, so now let's go to our tutorial, and I'm gonna show you how we can make realistic looking grass. So I'm gonna open my Max. I'm working with uh, centimeters as a unit scale. So unit scale, centimeters, centimeters here. And I'm going to make a plane. And on that plane, I'm going to add a V-Ray camera. So we're gonna to go to cameras, V-Ray physical camera. Let's put one here. And I'm gonna click C in order to go to the camera and rise it up a little bit so I can see my click F3 in order to see uh, geometry, okay? I think this is good. I'm gonna click Alt W in order to open it big. Let's get a little better framing. So I'm going to go and activate my V-Ray 5. Here we go. And let's do a little bit better aspect ratio, um, HDTV. So let's do 1200 and here let's activate our safe frame. So we will know actually what is our aspect ratio and what we are seeing, okay? Now let's drop in our v refer, select that plane and go to modifiers. And here select V-Ray and V-Ray Fur, okay? You can also uh, use it uh, from our quick access panel, all right? So 15 centimeters for grass is a little bit too much. Let's lower it down. And uh, we can also open our interactive render in order to see how this thing is rendering. So since we have no lighting, we have to add some sun in order to see some something <laughs> that we are doing. And I'm gonna go to my lights, V-Ray lights, and add V-Ray sun. Best way is to position your V-Ray sun uh, about 90 degrees to that plane, and rise it up somewhere here, also 45 degrees, perfect architectural angle. Now click render, see what we get. All right, so uh, we are getting those little cool looking spaghettis. I'm gonna stop my render. Move it to the side. As you can see, we have a light mixer, a bunch of other uh, cool features. We're going to discover that in the upcoming videos. But first, let's fix our grass. So let's go back to our parameters. I think about four centimeters is a, is a good length. This is a really zoom in. Uh, it's a long grass, you can make it shorter. But um, let's play a little bit with gravity and do some adjustments. The best way, of course, is to put that uh, on the interactive mode. So we will be able to change 
uh, see changes in real time. So I'm going to do uh, a little bit gravity. Uh, not so. Let me see my grass. So grass is going to be somewhere here for the gravity. Now um, let's do bend. Let's do a little bit of a bending. 1.2. Tapper. Tapper is what makes the cone shape for the grass. So tapper is going to be 1. Let me zoom in a little bit more so we can see the grass better. Okay. Big grasses. <laughs> yeah, but that's a, that's a crazy macro zoom in. So um, let's adjust this properly. Now with direction variation, I'm going to leave it as by default. Let's do a little bit of a length variation. So they will be, uh, they will have different length. And for thickness, let's also do uh, really one. So we will have, uh, this is the maximum as you can see here. And we're going to have really thins. So um, this works from zero to one. Uh, 0.5 is like in the middle uh, of that parameter. So if we do 0.5, we're still going to have very thick grass. That's why I'm doing one. So we'll have very, very thin and very, very thick and everything in between. Regarding gravity, let's add a little bit more gravity. So it will try to reach up. I mean, less gravity. So it will try to reach up. And on the curl, you know, like curly hair, uh, let's do 0.5. So we will have some of the grasses trying to curl, but not really have a full 360 curl. Okay. Now um, let's, so we're going to use per area is uh, 0 0.02 for now. But if we increase this, you can see that we're getting a lot of grasses. So let's put one here um, because we still want to see uh, a little bit of the ground okay now good thing here is that we have a new library that we can start applying textures so let's do click on Bure browser here on the library icon and I'm going to use a real world scale as the best to get uh, to get our textures properly with proper UVs, so you can see we have a lot of cool new materials. So we're going to explore this later on. But what I wanted to show you is this ground uh, materials that we have here, and we have grass. So I'm going to open my uh, material library editor and add this grass to it. So just right click, add the scene. And it's going right here. And what I want to do is, while my glass grass selected, uh, the very fur object, I'm going to click apply. You can see the grasses are getting really uh, nice color. And uh, let's zoom out a little bit so we can see the effect of this a little better. Now um, I'm going to add another material in a different slot for my ground. So I'm going to select soil. And it also gives us like the measurement 200 centimeters. So let's select our plane here and add the soil to the scene and apply that to the ground. All right looking pretty good i'm going to zoom out a little bit more and make our plane really really big so it will cover all our aspect ratio let me get my uh, show save frame all right now Let's close the materials editor and we can see just because we made it really big, um, the grass got scattered all the way around. So how we can fix that, we either go and increase per, per area 
we also can reduce uh, our segments. So every segment get, gets uh, that amount of, of grasses that we did. But if we do scale down our segments to one, you can see that uh, our field of grass got really nice and dense filling, okay? Now, uh, let's add a couple of objects. I'm going to do, so we can see a little bit better what we're doing. I'm going to go to top view, and let's place a uh, pyramid. And let's add a sphere. Okay, now for those, let's also add them on uh, nice, cool looking materials. Uh, let's do this concrete. And add it to the sphere. And I'm gonna add another concrete asphalt. And I'm gonna place it on the pyramid. All right, so I'm going to click here to view. And on our object, just because we use um, real world, we need to click real world. That way we will see our texture in the right mode. All right. So now let's close this, get a little bit better framing. I think our pyramid is a little too big, so let's scale it down. And test it out. I'm going to get a little bit better angle here. All right. Out a little bit. It's very important to get a nice uh, angle so you will see how your grass has been distributed. All right, now let's go and open back our uh, our frame buffer and see how this stuff been rendered here. Stuff is pretty good. Let's, uh, let's do a region, so we will get a little bit better quality in our region. And I'm also going to click follow the mouse, so you can see a uh, new V-Ray algorithm works really, really well with this uh, live rendering mode. All right, so the grass looking good. Let's, uh, if you think you have a little bit too of a thin grass, you can increase your per area. Let's do five. Just exaggerate, clay, crazy exaggeration, and see how this stuff works. I'm gonna put it again on my uh, interactive mode. All right, and we can see the grass is very thick. It's covering everything pretty good. And we have nice uh, variation of color because what it does, it takes the map, it flattens it up. And then in the grass map, you're gonna have uh, slightly lighter grasses, slightly darker grasses. So um, it just takes that pixel and extrudes it up. So make sure you don't have any dark or black um, pixels that will make your grass look very dark and unnatural. Um, if you use uh, not standard uh, V-Ray textures or materials, because everything that comes from the library that we saw right now got a very nice um, reflections, reflections, bump, all those values for the grass looking pretty good, okay? Um, you can add different noise uh, in order to make your grass, if it's not flat, of course, if you have heels and everything, you can modify it in order to get a little bit better look. 
but so far I'm very satisfied with that uh, grass look. I hope, Gregorio, that it will help you with your parents' house in order to make it more realistic and more appealing. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. Baba James, your hat is on the way. Send me your address and it will be great if you could take a picture when you receive it. Okay, so thanks again for watching. This is Alex, your beauty guy. Talk soon. Ciao.